Hello dear students, I am Inam Negi, welcome you all on Resultant. Before I go further in this session, just I want to tell you what is a safe score guys. For getting into IITs or PSUs or NITs, what should be the safe score? What was the score versus marks versus rank last years? What we can expect this year? Everything I'll be telling you. So you should be knowing the target, uh, what you are aiming for, for that target, what marks you should be requiring. Uh, before I go further, let me just quickly tell you guys that uh, in my telegram group Civil by Abhinav sir, we are already, we have more than 6,000 students. We have started an initiation daily in the morning, daily in the morning, daily means all 7 days a week, no Saturday, no Sunday off. Daily in the morning, we are putting some questions, we are putting some quizzes, you can take those assignments and the evening we are putting the solution for the same. This will be 7 days a week, every day throughout the calendar year. You can download our app from the Play Store, on the uh, Play Store guys, you can write on the search option Resultant Civil, okay. On the search option you can write Resultant Civil and download our app. In our app we have the detailed courses for 2026 and 2027. Guys for every batch of 26 and 27 you should be, you will be getting live plus recorded classes. For every subject you will be getting study notes that you can download for lifetime. For every subject you will be getting formula notes that you can download for lifetime. For every subject you will be getting PYQ that you can download for lifetime. For every subject you will be getting workbook, every subject workbook which includes MCQ, MSQ, NAT. More than 4000 questions that you can download for lifetime and test series exactly like gate platform. Okay, the cost right now was 15,999 for the one year batch. Hi Siam Babu, how are you? For any if you want uh, to connect me guys, these are my number and mail ID, you can connect me here. Okay, so let's begin the session guys, that what should be the safe score. Let me tell you guys, from 2019 to 22 now, generally with these much marks, you are getting this much rank. But from 2023 onwards, 23 and 24, due to less number of applications, due to less number of seats, due to little bit tough paper, due to mixture of all these problems, let me tell you, due to reduced competition, less number of students are participating, little bit tough paper than the earlier one, even with lesser marks, students are getting the same rank. Like in 2019 and 22, students getting 90 plus marks, 89 marks, then they are getting single digit rank. But in 2023, also I'll be showing in 2024 also, even with 77 marks, 80 marks, students are getting the single digit rank. 100 marks earlier, it was used to be coming in around 80 marks, 79 marks. But now in 70 marks, you're getting 100 rank. 500 rank earlier, it is coming in 70 uh, marks. But now in 59 marks, you're getting 500 rank. 1000 rank earlier was in 64 marks. But now in 54 marks, if I show you the recent 2024, from 23 and 24, even with lesser marks, students are getting a better rank. The reason I already told you. Guys, if you are scoring uh, around 500 rank, na, then your marks are around 62 marks. 62 marks. Just with 62, and 62 marks guys, uh, 28 will be non-technical, that is math, uh, mathematics and aptitude. And 72 will be technical. From here guys, I hope that if your preparation is good, you should be scoring, should be scoring worst to worst scenario guys. I am already looking for those students who have prepared something. Okay. All those students who have prepared something guys, prepared, they have done the preparation. You should be scoring 20 plus marks. And from here 72 with the worst condition with 4 to 5 subjects you have not completed, other subjects you are not very very strong, you can score 35 marks guys. That means you are scoring 55 marks and in 55 marks guys you can expect a rank around 1500 and 1500 give you old IITs guys leave new IITs leave NITs you will be getting the old IITs in 55 marks okay so <clears throat> this is the marks versus rank of 2024 even with 49 marks, 46 marks, you're getting 2500 rank. That means in this much marks also you should, can get new IIT. Now guys, various students will be from unreserved category. Some of you might be from OBC category. Some of you might be from SCST category. And your ambition may be different. Some of you might be having ambition of PSU. Some may be old IITs, new IITs, NITs. 
सो आई हैव द कंप्लीट कंप्लीट एनालिसिस फॉर यू कंप्लीट एनालिसिस फॉर यू दिस आई विल टेल यू लेटर ऑन गाइस जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी ऑल इंडिया रैंक नाउ फॉर दिस रैंक व्हाट इज द मार्क्स मार्क्स यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर मार्क्स यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर दैट मीन्स अराउंड सिक्सटी सेवन मार्क्स ओके अराउंड सिक्सटी सेवन मार्क्स यू आर गेटिंग टू फिफ्टी रैंक ओके सी द ऑप्शंस नाउ पीएसयू इज अवेलेबल फॉर जनरल पीएसयू इज अवेलेबल फॉर ओबीसी पीएसयू इज अवेलेबल फॉर एस सी एस टी ऑफकोर्स इफ पी एस यूज आर अवेलेबल ओल्ड आई टीज विल बी अवेलेबल न्यू आई टीज विल बी अवेलेबल एन आई टीज विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी नाउ इफ आई गो लिटल फर्दर इफ आई गो लिटल फर्दर टू फिफ्टी टू फोर हंड्रेड रैंक देन फॉर जनरल कैटेगरीज पी एस यू विल बी लिटिल टफ बट फॉर अदर कैटेगरीज पी एस यू विल बी दियर ओल्ड आई टीज न्यू आई टीज एन आई टीज फॉर एवरी वन फॉर फोर हंड्रेड टू नाइन फिफ्टी रैंक दीज आर द ऑप्शन For 950 to 1500 rank, 1500 rank means how much marks? 1500 rank means how much marks? 53 marks, guys. Just with 53 marks, just with 53 marks, that is 50 percent. Just with 50 percent marks, 1500 means 50 marks. In 50 marks, guys, the old ITs is available for everyone. New ITs is available for every category. And ITs is of course available for all. For fifteen hundred to two thousand five hundred rank. Okay, fifteen hundred to two thousand five hundred rank. Two thousand five hundred rank means around forty eight marks. Around forty eight marks. Old ITs will not be there for the general category for general category, but new ITs will be there. Even with forty-eight marks, OBC, EWS can get old IT. Might be they are not getting structure and everything, but they will be getting some decent rank. And same for the other marks also. This you can take screenshot later on also. This you can take screenshot later on. So what I want to say here, guys, this session, this table, I already told you many times that for seventy-five plus marks, na everything is available for you. IITs, PSUs, BAC takes its own exam. BAC takes. Uh, without the uh, its own exam also with gate score also ms from like nangyang university Nang national university of munich nangyang technical university all these renowned universities of germany and singapore are taking ms and even with uh, not 75 75 plus this is available but this is available in 60 plus marks also okay state psc some state psc is like odisha last year and various other states are now starting taking admissions from uh, this marks Okay, LNT. LNT nowadays taking its own exam, but few years back, two to three years back, it is recruiting 500 engineers every year through the gate exam. CBRI, CRRI, these are the autonomous government bodies, just like BARC. Like BARC is once you are selected, na either it you are selected through its own exam or you are selected through gate. Similarly, CBRI, Central Building Research Institute, Central Road Research Institute, particularly for civil engineers, they are recruiting scientists just like BARC. Just like BAC, they are giving you a two-year M.Tech degree with a stipend of thirty-two thousand, and later on they are absorbing in their department as a scientist class A officer. DRDO is also recruiting for the gate exam. All these options are available in seventy-five plus. Okay, so but even guys in sixty plus marks, guys sixty plus marks, the options like uh, old IITs is available for all categories. MS from Germany and Singapore. MS from Germany and Singapore is available. Okay, top NITs. If I'm saying top NITs, that means all NITs are available. So that means even you are not scoring 85 marks, not scoring 75 marks, 80 marks, even you are scoring a decent range, still you can achieve the target of going into the top colleges. That will give your career a boost up. okay so still the chances are there that's why i want to say that prepare hard revise hard whatever you have prepared try to get the maximum out of that in the examination if you are prepared for 80 marks try to get maximum out of that if you are prepared for 50 marks try to get maximum out of that because even with suppose you are just scoring 3 marks better na due to these uh, 15 days further preparation or further revision or test or anything just those 3 or 4 marks if you are scoring extra 
might be you're switching yourself from NIT M Tech to old IIT M Tech. Might be switching you are switching yourself from IIT Mandi to IIT Delhi. Might be you're switching yourself from IIT Delhi to ISC. Might be you're switching yourself in the same college from transportation to geotech or geotech to structures. Okay, so no, there is no age limit for M Tech admissions. Even if you're 80 years. You can take admissions into the M Tech colleges for studying for M Tech. There is no age limit. Age limit is for PSUs, but or for bar. But for getting M Tech, there is no no age limit. And after getting the M Tech degree from the renowned college, you can go for the <coughs> other preparation uh, for the off campus placement if age is not permitting you to the public sectors and the government sectors. Okay. Any doubt guys, you can ask me. Let me again tell you guys that we have the complete course. In the telegram, we have initiated a uh, thing that every day in the morning, we are putting the quiz and every day in the evening, we are putting the solution for the same. Every day, seven days a week. Okay. Usually, Anantma, they are giving the scholarship, but even after the scholarship, the fees for those universities is uh, much larger than the IIT. After gate, they give scholarship, but that is not 100% scholarship. Okay. You can download our app. We have the complete 2026 and 27 courses. Sir, I am a final year and got selected in GET. What is GET? In final year, LNT GET. Good, great, yeah, Unati. And if I get MTech from good college, then what should I opt? Go for one year field experience and then MTech or vice versa? Unati, that depends on situation, yeah. If you are financially very good, everything is fine and you want to take a chance. If you are wish to go in the public sectors or government sectors, then you can take a MTech degree and simultaneously you can prepare. But if you are not very sure about the other stabilities in your life, if you are not very sure that you will be performing good in the MTech and later can take a job from it, if you are not that confident even enough, then you can take the job. So that depends on situation to situation, person to person, what are his or her situations. Okay guys, any more questions? Thank you, thank you all guys. Everyone, warm welcome. Anyone wants to connect us, these are our numbers. Thank you, thank you everyone guys. Take care, thank you all.